Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be teaching you how to import a Grand Theft Auto 5 YCD clip dictionary into ZModeler 3. This tutorial will cover both methods of importing, importing with an unrigged vehicle and importing with a rigged vehicle. The difference between rigged and unrigged is that a rigged vehicle has two or more bones that physically connect to each other and have weights on their seams. An unrigged vehicle has static bones that break apart when the animation is played. Okay, so we're here on OpenIV. I've searched for the Sentinel-2, which is the unrigged model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to my unrigged folder, like so. And then we also want the clip dictionary, so this will be either at the bottom of time64e.rpf or whichever um, DLC your vehicle is in. So you can see here we have VA Sentinel 2.ycd. That's the one we want. And then we also need to grab the rogue model, which in this case is the 9F2. So let's go to our rogue model folder and grab 9F2.ycd and then also grab the models as well. So we'll just do 9F2 underscore pi.yft. And then we'll drag those in as well, like so. So now we'll start Zmod. And we'll go File, Import. Then we'll import the 9F2 underscore high.yft. For this one, we want to have Slice to Parts turned off because it's a road model. Uh, if I just turn this on and show you what it'll uh, do if it's wrong, if it's set up wrong. So you can see here that the rig model is made up of multiple bones. But on their seams, they're actually uh, like they're actually attached to each other, and they have uh, weights to determine whether or not they should move or stretch, etc. Uh, and when you import a vehicle that is rigged like this one with sliced parts turned on, it actually breaks the rigging and breaks the weights as well. So for a rigged car like this one, you want to import it. You want to import it with sliced parts turned off, like so. When you do that it will import as one piece. You can see here that this piece doesn't have any weird splits anymore. It's just one piece. In fact, the entire model is one piece. So you can see here, it's just one piece. So to load the animation and play it back on the vehicle, we need to have the track editor and the track timeline turned on. You can turn those on by going to view toolbars and then you can turn on an animation playback and the animation ruler. This is animation playback. This is animation ruler. And we'll hit go on to track editor. We'll hit this uh, little arrow down here. And we want to do load. And then we want to click the YCD. All these settings here, they don't really matter. They, they just exist here for now. Uh, and then you want to hit load. Like so. Now you need to import the vehicle before you load the animation because the vehicle's uh, skeleton determines what all of these are called. So. If you don't load the vehicle before the animation, then all of these will just have random hash names. It's just something to keep in mind. Okay. So to play the animation back on the vehicle, what we need to do is click up here on your on, on your viewport, and then you want to enable animation. If you don't enable animation, then you will not be able to preview the animation on your vehicle. And then all you need to do is just hit play and it'll play your animation back on your vehicle. Like so. You can also um, use the timeline to view a specific part of the animation. So for example, say you want to really get in, zoom in on here and see how specifically this works, you can just scrub through with this and view it. You can also see how each of the individual bones are being rotated and moved. You can also see here what the rigging is doing. So you can see here, this bit has not been set to move, so it doesn't. And that's based on like the weight paint of it. You can see that go right back to the shot. 
and you can play it in reverse as well. Oh. So you can just play it in reverse with this. You can play backward. We'll go all the way to the end and play it back like so. But yeah, so that is for the rig model, and now we will check out the unrig model. So for this one, we'll just do file new. We won't save this. Then we'll do file, import, and we're going to go to the unrig model. Do sentinel underscore hide at yft. This one we want to slice the parts, so we'll do that. I'm also going to import the log model as well. Can't do that with the other one, otherwise it bugs out. And we'll also grab the ytd for the car as well. It's more or less the same, you just have sliced parts turned on with this one. And we'll turn on L0, let me see here. That is, I'm going to rename this to underscore high. So we've got all our LODs. And we're going to do track editor again. Little arrow here, hit load. And then we'll go to the other model folder and we'll grab the VA Sentinel 2.ycd and hit load. And you can see it here, it's uh, pretty much as normal. You can close this now. And then you can scrub through and watch the animation playback, or you can obviously just play it back automatically. So in next week's video, we will be covering how to export a modified or just existing clip dictionary animation that, you, that you've either created or um, imported and modified and want to export. Uh, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe if you want. Goodbye.